Okay, you guys, I'm live here from the Hong Kong show 2019, and I have these lovely guys here from Australia and brought me this really unique ring. Now, look at this ring, you guys. This is rose gold, and it's inlaid with ceramic. It's kind of like that epoxy that they're doing now. So the problem with this is, you know, you, it gets really scratched up and very like dull. And the problem that people have now is they don't have a way to polish it back up because they're using like old conventional systems where we use new technology. We're like kind of like the Tesla polishing machines. So I'm going to take you through the steps of how I polish this with my own techniques. So come on, let me show you. So right here, we're going to start off with sanding the surface and then I'm going to take a polish so I'm going to be using a few different grades I'm going to use the very fine 9 micron 3m micro finishing film with our uh, our, our medium cushy back to sand I'm going to use my felt polishing wheel to polish the rose gold then I'm going to use two buffs one with compound and one with no compound and hopefully all of that will come out great so here we go so this you run at slow speed so right here I am going to get it nice and even and what's great with the jewel tool do you guys see how even that is sanding are, are you with me on this so you don't have to worry about the inlay being uneven it's always going to bring you a nice evenness with the metal and whatever is inlaid whether it's you know a stone whether it's resin epoxy enamel whatever the case may be just got to make sure got to make sure i'm just sanding it down all the way to that because some areas were not and what i'm sanding is really really fine this is nine micron micro finishing film and that should do it so from here as you can see we're nice and even oh it's beautiful oh my god if i had feel a vision you guys gotta feel this come here john john let me have you feel this is his ring just feel just feel how even this is without me even polishing it yet very even very even huh? very even Excellent. isn't that a satisfying feeling okay so i'm gonna take the felt now this felt usually i would tell you to use a clean felt around uh, resin but I'm gonna use it to polish majority of the rose gold so you'll see me work on the edge so I'm not polishing the resin at this stage so we're just polishing the, the rose gold do you guys see that oh and what beautiful rose gold you have And do you see the detail work? Like, look at how I'm being able to control and get that polish with accuracy. I'm not all over the place with a buff. With a buff, you can't control what you're doing. Here, it's like I'm living the life. Okay, so I think that should do it. Yeah, okay, perfect. So now, let me do the other side. Sexy. I told you you're gonna have a sexy ring after I'm done. Yes. And you know, I am trying to avoid the center because I don't really want to mix the metal on the ceramic. So if there's a certain area that you need to get, just put a little bit more compound and work it if there's more of a ding and we got that out so we're pretty much done so oops, hold on i am working on the edge so you want to stay flat working on the edge and roll so you don't want to be doing any kind of motions like this you want to just stay here roll back and forth and it'll give you a new nice smooth and fluid line okay i think that ends it okay so now you guys are gonna see the center polish so stay tuned for a second right here okay so this is what we've done so far take a look we've got the whole all the 
rose gold polished. I can polish the sides, but just for time's sake. So now I'm gonna take my dual tool buff, run it at full speed, hit it with my dual tool compound. Okay, and now I'm gonna polish the center. You see that? Gives yourself a little bit more compound. And I'm not using heavy pressure, but just enough consistent pressure back and forth a little. Just a little bit more. I think I've made my circle, but let me just make sure. And then I'm gonna hit this with the um, the buff that has no compound on it. Okay, so we're at this level right here. Oh my God, it looks so hot. So now I'm gonna take the buff that says no compound. See how fluffy that is? So we're gonna run it at full speed and now we're just gonna give it a little gloss and look at the gloss you get. And what, you guys see that? Look at that, you guys. Now this is like seriously live. These guys are waiting for it. So if you guys have any comments or questions on what I'm using, I'm gonna list it all below. But for the most part, this took only a few minutes, guys. Look at how hot that looks. Okay, guys, take a look. This is the final finish. See that? All the way around. Isn't that pretty? I can't see. I can't see the video. It looks good. Uh -huh. So now I want you guys to see. Is the light catching it? I can't see. Can I see? Okay. I just want you to see the fluidity of how the light follows. That means that this is all even. You know what I mean? So I am now going to hand this over, you guys, to the owner of this ring because, again, we're live and from Hong Kong. To this gentleman, his name is John from Australia. Kim, Kim. Oh, Kim. Kim John. Yeah, Kim, Kim John. John. Oh, what did I saw? I saw John from afar. So, Kim John, so this is your. It is. Ring. What do you think of it? It's pretty. It's wonderful. It's better than you. Really? No, seriously. Yes. So, how do you like the evenness of the inlay? It. You're feeling it has not. been like that for a long, long time. Yeah, it looks really good. Yep. Very nice. Now you've done a wonderful job. Now you got your fingerprints all over. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm just joking. Put it on and I'll wipe it down. So thank you for being a part of my YouTube video. Okay, you guys, if you like more videos like this, subscribe and like, comment, and I personally will respond to you. So be nice and be kind.